So tonight I wanted to show you guys what it's like to drive with the night panel feature on in a Saab, specifically my 2003 Saab 93. So let's go ahead, unlock the car, jump on in, start her up, and start this video. So night panel is a feature that was initially used in the Saab airplanes a long, long time ago. And a few years back, they thought, what the hell, let's introduce this into our cars as well. So that's exactly what Saab did. They decided to add the night panel feature into their cars to help them stand out even more and make their cars even more unique. Now, I don't wanna call night panel a tacky feature because it's certainly not tacky, but it's just a feature that helps Saab's stand out even more from other cars out there, and it's a feature that I quite like. So night panel doesn't really have that much of a use when you're driving. It certainly had a use in airplanes, and it still does have a use in airplanes, because it helps dim all the interior and ambient lighting on the inside of the car, so that way the pilot, or in this case the driver, could better focus on the exterior lights. So to activate night panel, what you're gonna do is press the night panel button right here. So as you can see, all the displays over here shut off completely and the buttons dim themselves probably about by 50 percent and if you look over here on your gauges you'll see that the turbo gauge fuel gauge temperature gauge and rpms are completely shut off and if your check engine light was on or if your fuel was low or if there's other essential or important buttons on here as well those would be illuminated still because the car is not gonna not let you know if there's a problem with your engine or not let you know if your fuel is low or something like that. So another cool feature of the speedometer, if you do get above a certain speed, I believe it's around 85 miles an hour, the rest of the speedo will turn on. So let's go ahead and try that out right here. Just speed up a bit. So as you see, I hit about 85 miles an hour there and the speedo completely turned back on which is really cool and then you see i slowed back down a bit so the computer sort of sense okay he doesn't need the rest of the speedo anymore so the rest of it shuts back off which is really quite awesome i think so like the speedo those unique features are also present in all these other essential displays as well so let's say i want to change the radio station so that top display will turn itself back on temporarily let's say i want to change to FM2 or whatever, I can turn this back on and that'll turn back on temporarily as well. Or let's say that I want to turn the AC back on. Those buttons and that display will temporarily brighten itself once again. And as you can see, these two displays already dim themselves because I don't want to keep looking at them. I want the interior to be as dull as possible. So night panel really doesn't have that many uses or that many benefits. It is very nice though when you're on a road that doesn't have any lights or a road that is very poorly lit and you can't really see the road ahead of you because the interior lights are just so blinding. I mean, if you turn it back on right here and you can see it just in normal mode with night panel off, there are a lot of lights in here and you can also dim or brighten the interior lighting here. It all depends on your personal preference, but I probably have it about 50%, but you can also dim or brighten that. But it isn't really all that useful when it really comes down to it. I mean, I've only used it a handful of times and outside of that, I haven't really found that much of a use for it because I mean, Honestly, who doesn't want to know what their RPMs are? Who doesn't want to know where their fuel level is, their temperature? I mean, who doesn't? I mean, it's just essential information that you get so used to having, and why would you just not want to have it on? I mean, I just find it much easier to have it on 
all the time. And I'm not hating on night panel. I mean, like I said earlier, I think it's a great quirky feature that helps make Saabs unique and stand out from their competition. But at the same time, I don't really find that much of a use for it. And again, I'm not calling it tacky in any way, but I don't really see a use for it. So like I said earlier, you can temporarily turn certain gauges on, but with the odometer actually, if you do want to see your odometer, that doesn't turn back off. I did mess with that a bit earlier and it doesn't turn back off. It'll just stay on as you'll see. But I mean, nothing really big. Of course, if I do turn traction control off or something like that, that's not gonna turn itself off. It'll always let me know that my traction control is off or that the passenger seat belt is off as well. As you can see, that little eye will come up and just the little passenger light right there will turn on, not the whole display, which is nice. So it's just letting you know, hey, you've got a passenger in the car, make sure they've got their seatbelt on. Or in my case, it's completely broken and I'm completely alone in the car. But that's another issue. So again, is there really a great use for night panel? No, and if there was, you'd see a lot more cars have it. But I mean, at the end of the day, do you really care? No, because it's not like night panel was a $500 option from the factory with Sobs. It's something that all Sobs came with. And again, it makes them unique. And I'm sure that I left out a couple of features with night panel that you guys will kindly let me know about in the comments down below as usual. Thank you guys for all your comments. I mean, it's really nice because every Saab video I post, I seem to learn more and more that I'm like, oh crap, I should have put that in the video. Because you guys, obviously, I don't know everything. You guys know so much more than I do about a lot of this stuff. So once again, I'm sure that I left some things out, but I hope you guys enjoyed this nice little POV style video. I would like to try and do more of these in the future. I think this is gonna turn out pretty good in terms of what you guys are seeing. But if it's total shit, definitely let me know. Be ruthless in the comments, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I tried to keep it a bit shorter, but that's gonna wrap it up for this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. And I'll catch you next video. Where do I go?